Hi, Luke Hawkins here, and in this video, I'm going to be going through the psychology of sales, what causes people to buy, and how to get people to trust you and get them to believe they can succeed with your product or service. There is a psychology behind sales, and if you have this psychology, then that's going to cause you to make great sales and cause you to turn you know, those people that are fearful about buying or uncertain about buying into closing the deal. And, and I'm really passionate about this because if you have a great product or service, you owe it to them to close the deal and you owe it to them to, to, to have in their hands what you sell. Now, the psychology that you need really, well, first of all, let's go through the psychology of what not to have. You can't doubt yourself and you can't doubt the value of your product or service. If you doubt yourself or if you doubt the product of your service or, or product, then you're gonna really struggle. So the psychology that you really need to start with is you have to be sold on you. And, and if you're sold on you, then you're gonna know when people come to buy your product or service that you are the best person to buy from because of what you will give them. And you know in your spirit and your heart that you'll be able to give more to them than anybody else. And, and if you know that, you're never really gonna be sold on their objections because you're so sold on you. So every day, I believe you've gotta be selling yourself on all the reasons about why people should buy from you. And you've gotta come up with that. Maybe it's your caring. Maybe it's because you put more energy into making sure they get the result more than anybody else. Maybe it's because it's your resourcefulness to always find a way to make sure they succeed with what you have. Um, you know, maybe, maybe it's just because you're just willingness to get them the result. So, so come up with some reasons about why it's better to do business with you more than anybody else. Now the second thing you must be sold on is why your product or service is better than anybody else. And this is also called by a guy named Jay Abraham. He calls this the, your unique selling proposition. And the way that you know that your product or service is better than anybody else's, one of the ways I like to do that is you've got to do what's called market research. And that means you look at all of the competition in terms of those that sell a similar product or service. What is it that they offer? What is it that they include? And how can you make yours better? What, what's different or unique or what is your X factor, they call it, that makes your product or service better than everybody else's? And if you know that, and, and, if, and, and business is a game of value, so if you can add more value than anybody else from your product or service, then it makes it very easy for people to choose to go with you. So come up with your X factor, what makes your product or service better than anybody else. And you know maybe it's certain features, maybe um, it's certain, you know, characteristics or traits, or maybe there's certain results that they can get from your product or service that they just can't get elsewhere. And if you know that, then it makes it so much easier for you to have certainty to sell to them. So that's the second thing you've got to be sold on. Now, the third thing that you've got to be sold on is the value of what you give. And, and, and what I mean by that specifically is you've got to know why your product or service is worth 10 times more than what you charge. And if you know why it's worth 10 times more than what you charge, you're never going to be sold on the money objection or the time objection. All they want to think about it because you know it's so much more valuable the solution. So one of the things that I asked myself when I was selling my stuff is, what is the worst negative consequences of them not buying what you have? You know, the worst negative consequences. You know, maybe it will affect their health in a negative way. Maybe it will affect their family or life. Maybe what will it cost them emotionally? Uh, what will it cost them financially? Uh, what will it cost them, you know, in, in the results they, you know, they don't get in their life? You know, if you think of that, then you're gonna be like, holy shit, they have to have this because it's just so much more valuable. So I, I, this is called stacking. You should just stack reasons about why your product or service is worth 10 times more than what you charge. Just stack that stack and just keep stacking reasons until you know in your soul and your heart this is worth so much more than what I charge. So stack those reasons and, and, and then you know that everybody has to have what you've got. The second thing that's really important here is you've got to know what causes somebody to buy. Now th there was a study uh, done by Gerald Holtman and he was at the University of Harvard and he said that 95% of your decision making is made in the subconscious mind. 
What does that mean? Well, people make their decisions based on emotion and they justify it with logic. You have to be able to move people emotionally to buy what you have. And the way that I do that is, is that I just get people to feel what are the consequences if they don't have what I've got? What does it cost them in the past? And you know, and think of how, what they're gonna miss out on if they don't do this, all right? You know, fear is a great motivator for people. It's a, it's a great motivator. And, 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 and you, one thing that you should know is, is there's two types of motivation right there is what's called towards motivation and there's what's called away from motivation now what that means is is people are motivated to move towards the things that they want you know and they're also motivated to avoid experiencing what they don't want okay so people would do way more to avoid someone stealing a hundred dollars than they will for, for you know than to save a hundred dollars so you ask some certain questions about their motivation if I was selling you a weight loss product, then maybe one of the reasons that you would buy that product is because you wanna avoid the pain of being overweight, right? Or maybe if I sold you business coaching, you wanna avoid the pain of staying stuck in your business or not getting what you want. Or maybe you know the reason of why you would buy business coaching or buy a network marketing product or a weight loss product, for example, or anything at all, is because you want the pleasure of achieving those results. Now, let me tell you this, 80% of people are away from motivated. So you're actually not gonna get them to buy until you get them to see the consequences, the painful consequences, and actually feel that emotionally of what it's cost them in the past from not having what you've got and what it's gonna cost them in the future. Now, Bruce Bruce Lipton knows this, that, that 90% of your behaviors are controlled by your unconscious mind. And, and, and so I have to get you to feel emotionally this cost. And if you can do that, you're gonna cause people to buy. Now the other thing that causes people to buy, and it's one core belief, and if you can get them to have this one core belief, then, then I know they have to buy. Now, before I get into what that core belief is, I, I, I want you to know that people really have to trust you. And they have to have trust in three things. They have to have trust in, in you as a person. They have to have trust in your company and they have to have trust in your product or service. And if they have trust in those three things, then they're gonna buy. Like think of, um, you know, when your mom or dad asks you to do something, if you trust them, you're gonna do it. Th those people that you trust, you're gonna act on those things. So you have gotta get trust in those three things. Now the core belief that people must have to buy is this. They have to believe that, that the only way to succeed is through you, through your product and service, and that they must do it now if they're going to succeed. So ask yourself, what was your aha that caused you to buy what you're selling? Or what is the aha that they must have that will cause them to buy? And, and this is also called the epiphany bridge. And, and that is the core belief that they, the only way to succeed is through you. And that if they're gonna succeed, they must do it now. And the way I get able to believe that is I go that, you know the, how to increase fear in somebody? Do you know how to increase fear? is to add time. That's how to increase fear. Because if you've never jumped out of an airplane before and you're like, well, here I am. What do they do? They go one, two, and what do they do? They push you out in two. Why do they push you out in two? Because if you've never jumped out of an airplane before, then and when it gets to three, if you've never done that, you're gonna hold on. They know people hold on. So that's why they push you out on two. So I, I, I call people on their stuff. I say, look, if you go away and you think about this and you know it's more valuable than what, than what I'm asking for, then all you're gonna do is strengthen your fear. But do you know how to create belief? Do you know how to create belief? Do you know how to create belief in yourself and trust in yourself and belief that you can succeed? You do and you create that by immediate action. And if you create immediate action, um, and if you take immediate action, then you're really gonna increase that belief and increase that certainty in yourself that you can succeed. You know, think of things you've never done before, and if you do that immediate action, that's how you build belief, all right? So that's how you're gonna do that. Now, the, th the, the third thing of how you get trust and you get people to take action is, and, and but the belief that they can succeed with you is you use what's called the 25 cognitive biases. And this came from Charlie Munger. And 
and, and he's a multi-billionaire that, that actually created a, a, a company called Berkshire Hathaway with Warren Buffett, who is you know, one of the top five richest people in the world. And they found these 25 cognitive biases that cause people to make decisions. Now, I use three of them primarily. The first one is people got to feel like they can relate to you. If they feel this relatability with you, like that they feel similar to you in their experience or in the results they want, something relatable to them, then they're going to open up to you and they're going to uh, tell you the truth. And that's what you're going to use to get them to buy. The second main cognitive bias that you want to use is what's called social proof. If you can share social proof stories about the success that people have had with your product or service, or, or even with the vehicle, or, or share success stories, even your own or anybody's, then that increases their certainty through the roof. The third cognitive bias is what's called the authority bias. If you can get yourself to position as an authority through saying these social proof stories or saying, um, you know, positioning yourself as credible or as an authority, you know, uh, you know, just through the value that you give and what you know, then people are going to buy through knowing that as well. You know, you, if someone goes to the doctor, if they see the doctor as an authority, they say you need this medication, they don't even question it. So you've got to position yourself as an authority, which is coming up in a later video actually. That's how to get people to buy. Hope that really helps you. Just know at the end of the day that you are either going to be sold on their objections and sold on their limitations or they're going to be sold on the truth of their own unlimitedness through your product or service. And always be sold on the truth that what you have is way more valuable than what you're asking for. I hope that helps you and look forward to seeing you in a future video. If you enjoyed this video, then what I'd love you to do is just click the like button below and leave a comment or ask a question. I'd love to answer that in the comment section below and click the subscribe button so that you never miss a video.